Heart Springs, a second magnitude spring, is flowing stronger thanks to a successful restoration project undertaken by Gilchrist County and the Suwannee River Water Management District. This collaborative partnership between the county and district, along with help from volunteers, has improved the health of the spring and the experience for visitors. Over time, sediment and portions of the retaining walls washed into the spring vents, which significantly blocked the spring's flow. In recent years, Gilchrist County replaced the deteriorating retaining walls constructed controlled access points to the spring and spring run, and stabilized erosion issues around the springs. The county's partnership with the district removed significant amounts of debris blocking the vents, resulting in improved spring flow. Day 13, we have made it to camp. This is Heart Springs 
Park, which is a really cool county park with four huge springs that we just did a dive in. And we are in the primitive camp site, campground, and we have the entire campground to ourselves. I shall pan around and show you the fact that there is no one else here in the entire campground. So it's going to be nice and quiet tonight. And we are cooking dinner right now. So I've got the stove priming over here. Scary flames. And then uh, we're going to have some broccoli with ramen and hummus and maybe some almond butter sandwiches. So river update, we are at Heart Springs, as I mentioned, um, and I just wanted to talk a little bit about the changes in the river. Um, upstream, we had a pretty narrow river, not super narrow, but pretty narrow, and there were high cliff walls with limestone formations, and the river was very windy and bendy, and it twisted and turned all over the place. We saw almost no people, and as I just recorded, motorboats flying up and down the river. Not many, just a few, but definitely more traffic. Um, and as you can see behind me, the river is very wide down here, um, and it's going to get wider. And also, there's a lot more long straightaway sections. It's less curvy. Um, the banks aren't as high. You don't have these like high bluffs on either side. You don't get the big dramatic beaches. Um, and instead, what you see is the, the banks kind of go up mellow away from the water at less of an angle and then go back into swamp it'll dip go up the bank and then dr drop back down and there'll be all the swamp big cypress trees everywhere um and so the vegetation is different um you know really really different um look and feel to the river the current has slowed down a little bit um we're up the river we were making four miles an hour um down here we're making two to three so the, the, the flow has definitely slowed down um, as the river gets wider and we get lower in sea level um, as we flow downstream. So it's, it's really, it's very different than, um, than, what, than what we saw upstream, but it's still really awesome. It's totally beautiful. It's, it's just not the same. Um, it's just different and that's okay. It was, um, and there's, there's whole sections too where it, where it straightens out and you'll be going on a long straightaway for a good two miles. You'll be looking at the same target for like two miles as you're paddling and um you know so what we do with these really wide sections like this is i'll hug one bank or the other and that allows us to get up up close and personal to some of the scenery that's along the banks oh and then also along the banks we're seeing a lot more houses um and a lot more development and um but there are some really nice long tracts of um wilderness land, public land, wildlife management land, uh, Suwannee water management land, all different types of, um, you know, public, public land. So, um, you know, lots of, lots of nature and not lots of woods and stuff to look at as you're going downstream. And what's one of the things I really like too is all the really cool root systems that are exposed by the erosion patterns on the river. And um, so when you're going downstream, you see all kinds of really cool um, gnarly roots and, and you know you see like whole root systems of entire giant cypress trees and giant oak trees and stuff that have been exposed from the erosion of the bank and that's, that was a nice surprise I wasn't expecting to see that and I've been just loving that that's amazing um, over here next to me you can see um, the, the root system of this cypress tree right here that looks pretty cool we are also we've also been seeing manatees which has been a really really cool treat for us um, at um, several of the springs we've seen manatees. We saw them at Pothole Spring. Um, we saw one today at the mouth of Sun Spring. And just now we saw one right out here in the mouth. We're, we're standing right at the confluence of Heart Springs where the Heart, where Heart Springs flows out into the uh, Suwannee River. And we saw a manatee right over there. Um, just a few minutes ago. So, so the manatees have started their migration up into the springs 
because the waters are getting chilly in the Gulf and chilly in the river. So that's pretty cool to be able to see the manatees.